Hey, Sofrito lovers, this is Ben Ramos bringing you another mukbang from my palatial home here in the Northwest Bronx. The Bronx is the home of hip hop and salsa. I am bringing you a simple Mickey D's dinner. Look, I've got Mickey D's, a small French fries. Look, 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 small fries and six nuggets, mi gente, six nuggets. I'm um, just keeping it... Um, Keeping it very carb counted. I've been having really good. I've had good uh, blood sugar in the last couple of weeks and I don't want to mess it up. So very carb counted, very little, uh, very focused, but still happy to have some Mickey D's for dinner. So Frito lovers, how are you? Let me get a fry real quick. Um, I'm dipping it in a combination of ketchup and sriracha. Mm. Ketchup and sriracha. Somebody make that happen. Actually, what am I talking about? It already exists. There's bottles of it. I just, I, I can never find it. So I make it at home. So Frito Lovers, how have you been? It's been about two weeks, I believe. Maybe even three. Two weeks. We are in September. Today is Wednesday, September 4th. It's been about two weeks, I believe. So Frito Lovers, a lot has happened. You know, um, about two or three weeks ago, I was on vacation. You, well, my summer program ended the 16th, Friday the 16th. Um, yeah, about, yeah, so it's been about two weeks because I'm trying to think back when was my last mukbang. Summer program ended really well, really fun. Took a very well-deserved vacation for a week and a half. Went back to work last week on the 28th. Um, I did my staycation in the Bronx. I had high hopes that I was going to be running around this city. Running around the city. But um, I did do some excursions with David. By the way, my partner David is back from California. Um, he came back the Tuesday of my vacation break. So Friday was the 16th, 17, 18. And he came back, um, yeah, the 20th. Mm. He needed some time to recover. California wasn't really a vacation for him. California was him working, taking care of his mother and father. So he needed a, a day or two to return to New York and feel good. Let me dip some of my... Oh, by the way, the dipping, McDonald's dipping sauce. I got their tangy barbecue, but I'm now dipping it in my ketchup sriracha. Mm. David came back. Needed some time to kind of reacclimate to being on the East Coast in New York City, back home. And then we went out. We had some dinners. We went and saw two movies. We did a night of theater. And um, some good old-fashioned New York City off-Broadway theater. Excellent. A friend of David's is in a show. I can't remember the name, but... It's all about the indigenous people who used to walk on the metal steel iron grids and used to be const help construct buildings. And they used to be the ones that were, would be all the way, you know, hundreds and hundreds of feet up in the air. Great play. His friend, April. Fantastic, extraordinary. So, you know, we did some theater. We went to the movies. We had a bunch of, of meals together. We didn't really run around the city as much as I wanted. But to be honest, guys, so Frito Lovers, I was tired. And I enjoyed a lot of doing nothing. A lot of being on this couch, watching that TV, getting on this phone, watching YouTube, Chilling. I was so in such a chilling mood that I didn't have any videos in me, guys. Sorry. And then went back to work last week. Mm. 
oh my god these fries and these nuggets are hitting the spot so last week i went back to work gotta prepare for after school me and my director are killing it we're ahead of the game when it comes to enrollment we're ahead of the game in a lot today i was in one of those all-day trainings at another school where a good chunk of my staff had to join us so i got to see staff last time i saw them was last day of summer rising august 16th so everyone had a bunch of great breaks some folks did some traveling some folks did a staycation it was great to see everyone so mm. last week going back to work i was busy sorry sofrito lovers you guys know my pattern already you know i can go a few weeks giving you some good content and then i need a break or work happens or life happens Yo, life be lifing sometimes and work be working so so for the lovers it happens but i always come back mira mañana empieza la brega tomorrow is the first day of new york city public schools a lot of other private you know, private schools, private institutions in New York are probably going on week two or three. But New York City public schools, the high schools, the middle schools, elementary schools, begin tomorrow. Yes, they begin on a Thursday. The first week of school is a two-day week. And next week will be the first full week of school. So, mira. We are back to the regular grind. You know, my summer program is seven weeks. I just spat French fries so much over there. Amazing. Yep, you're getting a Ben Ramos mukbang. You're getting a sofrito and maso mukbang. I just spit everywhere. My year-long after-school program begins um, September 16th, but the school year begins tomorrow. And... Um, I have about a week and a half before my program begins. So, it's been a bit of a busy week so far. And next week is really going to be nose, you know, what is it? Nose to the grindstone. We got 120 some odd kids and we got to get 150. So, we are ahead of the game. But, you know, we still got to get that 150. We got to get that 150 happening. So, excited. It's a new school year. Mm. Ooh, the sriracha is getting to me a little bit. Washing everything down with some zero sugar peach Snapple. Mm. I love these cups. M my partner David's best friend, Adolfo, he um, gifted david for his birthday because david's birthday was in the beginning of august um these wonderful cups i love them they're so simple and beautiful and i love the shape and um i've replaced all of my metal metal drinking spoon uh, drinking spoons listen to that my metal straws with these uh glass straws i don't know about you guys how many of you guys because we all want to be sustainable and save the turtles and all that good stuff don't like metal straws i feel like every time no matter whatever metal straw it is i can taste the metal and it grosses me out you know glass is non-reactive glass is just as sustainable it's not as durable i mean it's glass it might break but it just things taste better things taste the way they're supposed to taste sometimes with metal straws everything just tastes like metal and it grosses me out long story long tangent short replace all the metal straws with glass ones not going back so so for the followers we are ahead of the game i gotta recruit 150 kids and we're already in about 124 125 we're crushing the game 
it's going to be an interesting year. It's going to be my director's first. Well, not really. I mean, last year she started in the beginning of program. So last year was tech. It's her like sophomore year. And um, her sophomore year is a year where she can um, add a little bit more of her flavor. Last year, the program was set up the way the program has always been set up based on the last director we had. This is her sophomore year where she can add her own Salt Bay action to it, make her own little changes, maintain certain traditions alive, but, you know, add her flavoring to it, her adobo, her sazon, all that. We're all looking forward to it. I'm working with a really great crew. I like my staff. Smart, focused, responsible, a lot of good people. So I'm very happy about that. I'm very proud of my staff. Today, you know, whenever I get into these big trainings where there are other sites, other school sites within the organization that I work in, I can't help but always brag about my I, my site. I think my site is dope. Um, this August was our 19th year. So I've been there all 19 years. I was technically the second person hired. Been there 19 years, which shows a huge commitment on my part. 19 years ago, I was one of those people that I would work at a nonprofit for a year max, maybe a year and a half, and be like, this is not for me, goodbye. Where I'm at now, just work for me. Living and working in the same community has a lot of blessings. It's got its its issues. But the blessings definitely have outweighed the issues. And um, I've stayed. I've made it my career. And when I get together with other colleagues and their programs, I can't help but brag. So... The school year is starting. And um, my after school program starts up on September 16th. Essentially just in about a week and a half. School starts tomorrow. My program won't begin until Monday the 16th. Next week will be their first full week of school. We don't start immediately because it's, you know, we don't start immediately because we need planning time. We need time to get stuff together. We need time to hire people. We can't begin the same day that school begins. It's not recognizing or honoring the fact that, you know, after an intense summer program, people need vacation. They need break. They need to disconnect. They need to restore, rejuvenate, you know. And you can't do that and just immediately walk into a school and start a program. So, you know, we have our little grace time. And like I said, we're ahead of the game on many things. So it's kind of great. Just, um, just things are really good. So Frito lovers, we're, we're in a good place. I'm in a good place. Having fun. Mm. Oh my God. This, this McDonald's slaps. Oh. So, Sofrito lovers, I hope to bring you more Wednesday night content. Just looking at what my Wednesday nights are going to look like in the fall. Still pretty much a good night for me to film. Hopefully, I won't have too many nights of getting home on Wednesday just being beyond tired. But, um, So for the Oliver, things are going to be great. We're going to stay in touch. We're going to do our thing. Any fall plans? So for the Oliver, any fall plans? I judge the world by the academic school calendar. So for me, it's such a, you know, rebirth, rejuvenation, the beginning of stuff. For a lot of y'all, you're like, I don't work in schools. Uh, the September is like any other month. But for me, September... 
gives me almost like January vibes. Like the beginning of the school year is like the beginning of, you know. <laughs> it's just uh, something about, you know, starting up school again and starting up program. It just gives me such a new year vibe. I keep talking about the new year and people are like, it's not the new year until January, Ben. I'm like, well, it's the new school year. So it's, it's, it's a significant part of my life. My career has been, you know, working in school-based programs. So September will always feel in, in a January-ish type of vibe. You know, the beginning of, of something. Any fall plans? I am already thinking about what I'm going to do in December break. I know that's months away, but in, we're in September. December may be months away, but it's only really three months. I'm thinking about, and I've mentioned this before. I wonder what it would be like to celebrate Christmas in Puerto Rico. Thinking about it big time. I wanted to go to Puerto Rico this summer, but I just didn't get my crap together. I think I'm going to be getting it together for spending Christmas on my birthday because my birthday is three days after Christmas. I'm a December 28th baby. Strong possibility I will be in the Caribbean. Vamos a ver. I'll let you guys know. Mira, sofrito lovers. I had a nice carb controlled uh carb controlled McDonald's uh dinner. So I actually got to finish it. Which is you y'all know I never finish anything on camera. Well, sofrito lovers, it's the start of something new. It's September. Sofrito lovers, take care. Go out there. Go have some culinary ventures. Go taste for yourself. Como siempre, siempre, siempre. Mucho, mucho amor.